What's up guys, I the by yourself here, and in today's video, I want to share with you guys what's on my iPhone jailbreak edition. Now this is going to be iOS 10.2 jailbreak, one of my primary devices I carry two, one without a jailbreak and one with a jailbreak at all times. So let me show you what's on my iPhone jailbreak edition, iOS 10.2, let's begin. First up is going to be one of the applications that I highly recommend the most when you jailbreak, and by the way guys, all the sources that you're going to need are going to be in the description down below so I recommend you take a minute to add the sources by going to sources edit add and add all the sources in the description therefore you can get all the tweaks that I'm going to be talking about in this video but app admin is one of those apps that I really recommend or tweaks that I recommend and the reason being is because this tweak allows you to go into the app store and download an application and let's say uh, Instagram for example updates the application but you don't really like the new update well app admin will allow you to downgrade the version of each application in the app store now not every single app is supported but a lot of the apps are supported you want to tap and hold on the download arrow and you get a new menu here for downgrade right here you can download any of the versions of Instagram application uh, in case you don't like the current version and not only that but you also have a tweaks button here that when you tap on that tweak button it takes you to Cydia and it shows you all the tweaks that are compatible with that application again it works with a bunch of other applications I'm just using Instagram as an example but app admin is one of those apps that is on my primary list when I jailbreak another tweak that I have installed is called CC low power I've talked about this tweak before but again this is a what's on my iPhone jailbreak edition so it adds a toggle to the low power mode right there on your control center I have that one installed right now which is a CC low power I also have CC recorder which allows me to record the screen of my iPhone by adding a button here to the control center which I can tap and it's gonna record the screen of my iPhone and once I'm done recording the screen I can tap it again and it's gonna save the video to the camera roll so you can view it right there it is and then share it or do whatever it is that you want with it so CC recorder this is one of the tweaks that I also have installed right now I also have a clear dock this one just as the name implies gives you a clean dock so it looks better it looks cleaner on my device now the theme that I'm currently rocking is called core and I purchased this one uh, previously on iOS 9 jailbreak so it's available for me to download because I have access to it now the Cydia store isn't yet up for uh, purchasing themes but just so you know core is the theme that I'm using on this video Custom Carrier is also one of those tweaks that I'm using. If you take a look at the uh, notification or the status bar there, you see that the iDevice Help logo is there. That is Custom Carrier that allows me to do that. Dark Messages for iOS 10 is also one of the tweaks that I'm currently rocking. And as the name implies, it's going to give you a custom dark theme for your messages application. Highly recommend it. It's a really cool uh, tweak. I highly recommend Dark Messages for iOS 10. I'm also currently using Glow Badge. Now Glow Badge, I've talked about this tweak before. It gives you a nice little glow on the icon that has a notification. You can change the color of the glow. Pretty cool tweak. I think it gives the OS life. It makes it look pretty cool, Glow Badge. I also have installed Haptic Feedback. Now this tweak I can't really show you because it just gives you vibrations on your device. So if you go into the extensions and settings to further customize this tweak, uh, it gives you the ability to turn on feedback or vibrations when you uh, tap on the volume up and down, when you power off, when you press on the home button, when you tap on an icon. It just gives the OS that haptic feedback uh, vibrations that makes it feel uh, better for some reason. Reason. Haptic feedback. I also have eye widgets. Now, a lot of you guys love this tweak. It is free in Cydia. And uh, you see that widget I have here on my springboard with uh, the time, the date, and all that. Well, I can tap and hold there and delete it. And in order for me to add that widget, again, all I have to do is tap and hold. And when I scroll down, I can go here to the X Class widget. Now, the weather widgets aren't really working, only the, the clock widgets. So I can add the X Class clock widget here and then click add and that's going to add the widget up top here I got to tap and hold and remove it move it down here and that's how I have that there on my device at the bottom so i widgets and i widgets packages it's a nice way to implement widgets into iOS so you can get uh, extra things on the home screen right now I'm using m2 uh, widget pack so I highly recommend you check it out it's free right now again the city of store is not up so you can't really purchase tweaks or widgets so you have to uh, go ahead and use the ones that you previously purchased in my case this one here I also have legacy slide to unlock and I talked about this one before it gives you the iOS 9 style lock screen uh, for your device it's a pretty cool a uh, way to bring back the iOS 9 feel to the lock screen legacy slide to unlock minimal HUD 
Also gives me the ability to place the volume on the side so it's not intrusive. It's not a big bubble in the center of the screen. It's just tucked here on the left. I can also place it on the top, on the right, on the bottom, wherever I wish. You can further customize the settings inside the settings extension for uh, minimal HUD. A lot of you guys are also taking a liking into Noctix. Now this one gives you a dark mode option or tweak here in your control center where you can toggle on or off. I think it looks a lot nicer than the white background or grayish background that Apple offers. It also goes over here to the uh, 3D touch in your widgets panel here for iOS 10 as well. So an Octic, really cool tweak. I also have Nude Keys. Nude Keys allows me to take out all these separations in between the letters, giving a cleaner look to the keyboard. Highly recommend that you can customize the color, change the entire keyboard experience with Nude Keys. And Power Tap is almost a must. Power Tap allows you to get certain actions when you go to power off your device. You can tap on this button here to get different actions. You can see your reboots, or respring, safe mode, and so on. So Power Tap. It's a really cool, useful tweak. Now, if you've noticed the animation when I open and close applications, that kind of bouncy effect, that's going to be uh, sleek and bounce 9. It's for iOS 9, but it also works on iOS 10. Highly recommend you check it out. See that cool animation when it bounces in and out? Just gives it really cool animation in opening and closing applications. Stripe is also an iWidgets that I'm using. This iWidget that you can add to the iWidgets panel gives you these really cool iWidgets that you can add with time and uh, weather information. Again, weather is not really working, so you can just choose the ones that have only time and uh, other things like that. Uh, once the weather gets working, I'll have a separate video on that, but a nice cool iWidget. And if you're wondering what the live wallpaper on my home screen is, that's going to be V Wallpaper 2 for iOS 9, but again, it works on the latest 10.2 jailbreak. That is what you see on my home screen there with the live uh, wallpaper moving it's going to be this one here where you can download different ones from these sections here select the size of the screen and then download any of these i have these downloaded and it's the ones that i'm using now so why not check it out it doesn't really affect battery as much as you think it would and it just gives you a live wallpaper on your home screen and lock screen i also have flip control center installed this one's going to give me extra toggles or additional toggles here on the control center which i can add and remove and relocate these in settings in, under the extension for flip control center this one's going to allow me to add all of these toggles to the control center why apple doesn't do this i don't know you also have additional apps and actions that you can add everything could be managed by the extension in settings that you get when you download flip control center highly recommend you check it out you can move uh, the actions here or the shelves uh, up and down depending on the location where you want them also for the bottom shelf and top shelf you can relocate all of those toggles on the position that you want and add and remove additional so flip control center very useful tweak and last but not least i'm using winterboard to customize and theme my device to add the custom theme here now winterboard isn't a very stable so i don't want to go ahead and say download it i'm just showing you that i have it on my device uh, but if you do decide to download it, just download it at your own risk uh, because it is not very stable. It hasn't been updated. Um, I took the risk and I'm using the core theme with Winterboard right there as you can see. And it's customized. Really cool stuff on my device. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is everything that's on my device right now on the jailbroken iOS 10.2 iPhone 6S Plus. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.